All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So my OGs out there, you know, the long-term Dokkan players, the veterans, will know that for the past several years, they've kept the ticket distribution system for these download celebrations the exact same. It's always been one ticket for every 50 stones that we spent over the past year or since the last ticket distribution. And uh, these tickets could be used for a special download celebration ticket banner like the one you see on the screen right now from last year's 300 million download celebration. But apparently, this year, they're going to be making some changes. And according to Goresh and Talon and a couple of other uh, data leakers on Twitter, um, instead of getting tickets directly this year, we're instead going to be getting a special treasure item that can be used to exchange for either tickets or some units directly. All right, so obviously a change there, but nothing too crazy because from what I'm hearing, it's still gonna be uh, 50 stones for one treasure item. So instead of getting you know one ticket for every 50 stones, now it's gonna be one treasure item for every 50 stones. And it's a one-to-one -one exchange rate for treasure items to tickets. So essentially, if you spent all your treasures on the summoning tickets, then you should be getting the same amount of tickets you would have gotten anyways if the system had remained exactly the same. Now, as far as the exchange from, ex exchanging for characters go, uh, I'm assuming that it's going to be uh, pretty much any characters that's available on the download celebration banner. So it should be a bunch of uh, category, you know, Dokkan Fest leaders, as well as 120 leads, and also the uh, older Dokkan Fest units with easy A's, right? So... Obviously, at this point in time, we don't really know what the exchange rate's gonna be, but off the top of my head, I might say for a Dokkan Fest category lead, like a Transforming Goku, Transforming Frieza, or, you know, full power Super Saiyan for Goku, it would be maybe 50 treasures, and then for 120 leads, maybe 20 to 30, and then for ECA units, maybe it's like 10, or something like that. So that is essentially all we know at the moment. Um, there could be some differences in the actual system once uh, you know this thing this thing drops because obviously we don't have all the information at the moment. But uh, that's what I know for now. That's why I wanted to let you guys know. And uh, maybe I mean think about this. Maybe they'll also put some LRs up for grabs because if I remember correctly, in the unfeatured pool for the banner last year like this banner there were some lrs right there weren't a ton but there were some no let me check actually i think i can see here yeah okay let me see i think there were some un uh some lrs unfeatured here yes there were okay so as you can see we got bardock we got beerus uh we got bojack and probably the ogs too yeah majin vegeta and kohan so on and so forth okay so if they also put some LRs up for grabs, maybe it's going to be like a hundred treasures. So equivalent to a hundred tickets for an LR, which for some people might be worth it, right? Because if you have, you know, most of these units like close to rainbowed or at least you know, have most of them with at least one copy, then you might want to just forego the summoning process and uh, use your treasures directly to exchange for um, an LR you're missing or you know, one of the Dokkan Fest units that you need dupes for. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, th honestly, the system before was fine, right? It was a tried and true system. Nobody was really complaining about it, but uh, this can only be positive, right? Like this is, I can't really see this being like a bad thing anyway, because we're still essentially getting the same amount of tickets if you want to exchange all your treasure items for tickets, since it's still you know, 50 stones spent in the last year since the last ticket uh, since the last ticket distribution for one treasure item, and then it's one treasure item for one ticket. So the exchange rate is at, is exactly the same. It's essentially still 50 stones for one ticket. There's just that you know middle like step right with the treasure item, and uh, the fact that we get an opportunity to actually use the treasures to exchange for spe specific. I can't talk right now. What's going on? To exchange for specific Dokkan Fest units is uh, is great for people that just are, are specifically targeting a unit, right? Instead of like, you know, leaving it up to chance, you can just spend some treasures and buy that unit instead. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much all I know right now. Oh, I think one other thing that I heard from Talon is that 
uh, the global versus JP units from the previous years will also be up for grabs with the treasures. So uh, there's going to be the Hercule and Cell from last year, as well as the Super Saiyan Goku and Final Form Frieza and uh, the Badman Vegeta and the Yamcha. So if you guys are still missing those guys or those units, you can also exchange them or exchange for them with the treasure items. And um, is there anything else? I just feel like I don't want to end this video without like telling you guys everything. Oh, oh, also, also the start time, the official start time for the download celebration is August 28th, but I believe that's Japanese time. So for a lot of people in North America, it should be on the 27th. Obviously, it depends on your time zone, but it's 27th slash 28th, depending on where you live in the world. And uh, that's the official start date. But aside from that, I don't think there's anything else we need to cover. So that is going to be today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let, me know in the, in, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about this new system. What do you think the exchange rate is going to be for the uh, different types of units? The category Dokkan Fist leads, the 120 leads, as well as the uh, EZA unit, right? I feel like probably 50 for Dokkan Fest category leads, 30 for 120s, and uh, 10 for the older EZA guys like Tech Beerus and Injinemba, STR Gogeta, so on and so forth. I like the new system, honestly, I have no complaints because, like I said, man, this can only be a good thing. We're still getting essentially the same amount of tickets if we're gonna use all the um, treasures for tickets. Oh, you know what? I just thought about this. Uh, I made a I made a video a couple days ago, or sorry, it was like two weeks ago maybe, where I talked about you know how many free to play tickets we can all expect um, for this year, and basically I just did a full breakdown of how many free to play stones we we received in the last year since the last download celebration, and then divided by, divided it by fifty to get like a final number, you know, a rough number of how many free to play tickets we can all expect, right? And that video is not really. I wouldn't say it's outdated, because like if you spend all of your treasures on tickets, then it should still be around the same number I came up with in that video. But if you end up actually spending some treasures for, um, you know, units instead of getting tickets with them, then obviously the ticket number will be off. So I guess that video, it'd be more accurate to have called it how many treasures we can get instead of how many tickets we can expect to get, but obviously at that time, I wasn't aware they were changing the system and implementing this new treasure item. So uh, if you guys watch that video, then just keep that in mind, and we should be good. And as far as what the actual you know treasure item is, it doesn't really matter, right? It's just a symbolic thing to be exchanged for tickets and certain units. Um, it could be anything really, right? It could be like a dragon radar. It could be some panties. It could be. Bobbity's crystal ball doesn't really matter um, But that's all I gotta say guys that is today's video. That's all the info I have for you right now as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn Video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.